Hey all, Reservoir TV, welcome, check it out. We're just now leaving Moab, Utah. It poured rain, and I mean poured rain, all night long. I thought I was going to get washed away out there at that KOA campground. Good little campground to stay, I'd recommend it. It's on the outskirts of town, south of town here. We're going to have one epic, beautiful drive this morning. Rain or shine. <laughs> no choice. Hopefully the rain holds off. I got, got it on the phone, the radar. And there's some cells moving in through here. Very, very busy time of year here. All right, right up the road should be Highway 128. I could still drive this road every single day. <laughs> Look at the views, goodness. Except in the winter time, you'd see all that white stuff laying around. Okay, here we go. I drove this a couple years ago. I had to come back to it. If I ever got in this uh, area, you betcha. This runs right along the Colorado River. There's several little campgrounds out through here. All kinds of pull-offs. It is just one beautiful, beautiful drive, even in cloudy, rainy weather. Kind of Mother Nature's slice of heaven right through here. She put a road in for us. It takes you straight up to I-70. Then cuts over to Colorado. Or you can actually cut all the way back towards uh, Green River. Great Salt Lake City, all that. There it is. There's Colorado River. All that water's going to end up down by... Uh, Lake Powell, Lake Mead, clear down through Parker, all the way down to Mexico. Yeah, look at the roads, how wet they are. You can actually really see how low the Colorado River is, too. You can see the water marks. We'll stop up here. There's all kinds of pullouts. Actually, I need to start filming quick <laughs> before the rain catches me. Here's one. We say, let's stop. This one looks like a little day use area. pretty. Got some pavilions. We say you get parked. Let's check it out. Yeah, a couple drops of rain just hit me. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous through here? To me, it's like the mini Grand Canyon. If you're ever able to drive through the Grand Canyon, maybe this is what it would look like. You know, on Google Maps, you can actually uh, see the Grand Canyon from the water. They actually uh, filmed that. Looks like a little bicycle trail down there. We're still super close to town. Get the old picnic basket. 
Just enjoy the views. Check out these little sunflowers. My goodness, these guys are really happy. There you go. They're living on the Colorado River. <laughs> There's the Colorado River. It feeds all the water down to the southern states. A lot of controversy over this thing right now. Lake Powell, Lake Mead, all of it. Well, hopefully we can get up here. <laughs> Check out a couple of the campgrounds before the rains hit. But sit back, enjoy the ride. It is absolutely beautiful. I get asked a lot what I use to film these road scenes here as I'm driving. I have a GoPro Hero 10 mounted on the outside of the van. Then inside the cab of the van I use a GoPro Hero 11. There's a campground right there on the left. But these GoPros anymore, it's crystal clear footage. You can't beat them. Look how long this bike trail is. If you're into it, mountain biking and all that stuff. Because we're getting quite a ways out here. Wonder what it looks like here in the winter. I bet this road gets pretty jammed up with snow. A little farther up, there's actually uh, roads that'll cut you over into Colorado through a couple small towns. I think one's called Castle Rock or something like that. But we're going to stay right on this good old paved road. <laughs> Looks like another little camp area up here. Yep. Day use for hiking. Camping off on the left, right on the water. See, this is perfect for a van, Class C, big rigs. Most of these campgrounds are too little. But if you got a Class C, even a rental RV, this road would be perfect. And if you're wondering, zero cell service. <laughs> Well, I think I see one up here that I can stop. We'll stop and check out the water a little bit. I've seen a couple rafts go by too. Now that'd be epic, huh? Oh man. Raft down through Moab and all that. They must start out here. I know there's a boat launch farther out, if I remember right from the last time. Look at this little campground. Who wants to stop? I do. Let's check it out. Here you go. Camping with a view. Waterfront camping, huh? <laughs> There's one of those non flushable restrooms <laughs> cool
go up and see what the board says. See what the fees are. I'm sure there's fees for this. Well, you know, with my senior uh, pass, a lot of these places you can get 50% off. Pays to be old. <laughs> okay. Let's see what this one says. Fee required. $20 a night, so it'd be $10 with my senior card. And if you're military and all that, you get discounts. Camp rules, pretty standard. Cool little map of the area. You'd get some road noise here, but who cares? Look at the view. Kind of echoes through the canyon here anyway. But there's several to choose from. This is a small one. There's some bigger ones up the road. But you park your vehicle up top here and then the campsites are actually down below. Right down there. So you got to pack your stuff down there. Oh, rafters. Look, look. And they're going to get wet because there's some uh, storm cells coming in. They keep getting alerts on the phone. Hey, what the heck? You're on the water anyway. <laughs> Look how low the uh, river is. You can actually see the water lines up on the banks. But what a day to raft, huh? Probably goes all the way down through Moab somewhere. Rafting the Colorado River. Heck yeah. Well, we say we'll keep on trucking. Once again, this is Highway 128, right along the Colorado River. We're leaving Moab, heading up towards I-70, towards Colorado. There's some more camp areas. Camping with a view. So you could camp, fish, kayak, canoe, raft. What else you want? <laughs> Not bad, huh? And there's so many of these areas. Kind of empty, too, for our August. Of course, they probably fill up on the weekends. Well, somewhere up here, if I remember right, there's a little dirt boat launch. I think that's where they launch a lot of these rafts from. Try to find it. The canyon's opening up a little bit. It's uh, not so steep next to the road. More daylight coming through. <laughs> Look how dark that rock is on the upper cliff. Huh. Even with the clouds, still pretty. Ooh, I think this is it. Yep. 
Let me stop here a second. Oh, look at that, a raindrop. Many raindrops. <laughs> I think this is the boat launch here. Well, the rain's catching up with me. But look how pretty, huh? There's a little dirt boat launch right down there. So you can launch your rafts and canoes and stuff right there and just float on down. So if you're camping with friends, you know, come up, dump off the raft and stuff and leave a vehicle or something. That'd be cool. Yeah, you can really see. I mean, that's the Colorado River. It looks low. Look, see her along there? Huh. Little restroom. And I'm starting to get wet. <laughs> Starting to come down. It finally caught up with me. Hey, we did pretty good though, huh? We got a few miles in. Enough to run the wipers. So glad I came back and drove this road again. Next trip, I'm definitely going to stop and camp this thing. Alright, back on 128. Really, the traffic hadn't been too bad. A few cars. Now it's really opening up. Right up here on the left, there's these big resort horse ranch type places. Big resorts. Right along the mighty Colorado. I think there's two or three of them up here. See all the cabins back in there? Probably fishing, fly fishing, I mean, horseback riding. This is total Shangri La. <laughs> what an epic drive up by this 128. Even in the rain. Journey continues. Talk soon.